Hey there, if you're watching this video, you've probably been asking yourself, well, how much uh, does do Facebook ask ads cost, right? Like, how much do I need to pay in order to uh, advertise on Facebook? Well, if that's you, my friend, no worries, you're not alone. A lot of people have been asking me that question, and so I want to address that in this video. Before, before, before we get started, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Leo. I reside here in the Solano County area, and I'm a... Uh, local business owner here just like yourself if you are a local business owner right and uh, I have a company called digital track where if you are looking to uh, get some help advertising uh, online to get more customers right you perhaps are already advertising on print media like news magazines uh, newspaper or radio or billboards and stuff like that but you be asked, asked but you also have been looking at advertising online like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, right? Because you see all your customers are on the phone. Then let's go ahead and track. Also, if you are already doing uh, advertising online, but uh, you're having some success, right? But you just don't have the time anymore. You actually have to focus or realize that you have to uh, uh, work on your business or for your business. Is that the same? Oh, well, whatever the saying is, it, you actually realize that there's other areas within your business you have to concentrate and that you are looking for help to take over on your marketing department. Let me help you then, right? Let me um, see what you got going on and let's talk. Let's see if I can actually help you. Uh, my number is 707-410-0307. I'm accessible, guys. If you want to send me a message, that's fine. Um, it's a tech. It's a sale as well. Uh, my website is digitaltrack.co. You can email email me at info or sorry, send me an email to info at digitaltrack.co. All right, long introduction. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is a question that I've been getting asked a lot lately. Like, uh, all right, how much do Facebook ads cost? By the way, this is a short version of a video I did previously. The other video is much longer, more detailed. That you can go back and look it up on my YouTube channel. Um, so the answer that I see a lot going on to this, to this question is that it depends, right? And, and it's true. It absolutely is true. It depends on a lot of factors. Uh, there, uh, there's a lot that goes on, uh, into understanding Facebook uh, ads and how much they charge you, how much does it cost. Um, everything from the audience that you, meaning the people that you're trying to advertise to, right? From the bidding, the way you go in there and set your bid, kind of like, and uh, no, I don't want to say in a casino, but kind of like in a in a bidding process, right? Like in a car auction or any auction that you go to, event, nonprofits, organization, right? It's how you put your bidding strategy to actually win the most. Uh, it, also, other factors is ranking. Facebook gives you directly affects that and influence how much you are going to pay. Now, this information I got it from a company that's called Ad Espresso. They they own by Hootsuite. Um, you can look it up and you can Google it. Uh, based on $300 million they used up on ads last year in 2017. So they do have a lot of data behind the article. They definitely know what they're doing. Obviously, this is uh, combined with information that I already know what um, I've done in reference to running Facebook ads, right? So how does the bidding process work, right? So you've been telling me that it depends on a lot of factors and one of this is the bidding process. So let's cover this factor for here and in other videos I'll go over some other, but the bidding factor, it is important to know that uh, Facebook board like an auction, like I mentioned before, right? It is important because it's part of the reason that there's no set answer to how much the uh, Facebook ads are gonna cost you. Uh, the factors can include the time of the year, the day of the week, uh, even the specific hour your campaign is running, right? There are peak times where a lot of people are, uh, a lot of companies are advertising, and when competition is high, of course, the price goes up. That's just simple uh, business, right? Uh, demand, where the demand is, the, the higher the cost is. And, Again, that's so true with anything else you may have going on. Obviously, uh, towards the end of the year in December are the worst time or the most expensive time to advertise. It, it may not be the worst, obviously, because a lot of people are in shopping mode. Um, Super Bowl is the best example, right? The only ads you're gonna you see 
going into the Super Bowl are companies that can afford uh, millions for a 30 minutes to a minute to 30 seconds to a minute uh, ad in, in TV. So that's the best way to explain it, right? Uh, time of the year, like it depends a lot on the demand. So the prices obviously are gonna be higher. Now, second factor is your bidding strategy. You can set uh, an average bid or you choose to set a bid limit on each individual bid. Meaning, with, average, with Facebook, there's a setting there that you can either tell, let Facebook uh, uh, choose, give me the average right uh, bid for somebody to take a specific action, either let's say view 10 seconds of my video or view two seconds of my video or click on my ad. So you can let Facebook determine that, or you can actually set a specific limit. Now, my recommendation on that will be to test your own stuff, right? But usually you do know, if you don't know any information, if you don't have any data, you may wanna perhaps let Facebook know, kind of know, uh, uh, learn the, your ad in the system, like how much uh, people you see are gonna be, or how much your ad you see is gonna be costing on average for people to click on it depending on your goal, right? If you want just people to go to your to your page, take on your offer, if you just want people to uh, like your post, or if you want people to view your video for 10 seconds. So those are factors that you gotta take into consideration what your goals are. Um, but again, you can let Facebook determine the pricing automatically, uh, or you can set your own price for each action. Uh, the other factor is the placement that you choose, right? There are so many different placements within Facebook, uh, and each one of them has different costs. Uh, there's one placement on the right side, right? It's called column right. There's the most common one is the ones that you see in the news feed when you're scrolling up and down on your phone. That's the news feed. That's probably the one that you're most familiar with. But there's other ones. Like if you go to your messenger app, you, there's ads in there. If you go to uh, Facebook partner, partners with other websites and apps, so uh, you may see ads in there as well. Um, streaming video promotional videos, so many different placements. Obviously, Instagram is one of the uh, other alter big alternatives because obviously uh, Facebook owns Instagram. Uh, and also, it's, it's one of the most expensive, expensive one. Um, the reason why is because Instagram usually has less confusion going on, right? It's a smaller area, so your ad is actually covering pretty much the whole screen. It's hard to miss if you know how to uh, capture people's attention uh, uh, first impression right so it's usually the, the the ones that cost the most that placement just because uh, it, it's in, in, in according to the article it has a higher rate to convert to take people to, to make people to take action uh, the other factor is relevance right the relevance score which is calculated partially by the engagement, meaning how many people gives like, hearts, and all that, and actually how many people clicks on it to go to your website, for example. It can directly affect how much Facebook would charge you. Uh, again, so relevant score is how, how appealing your ad is uh, finding and how congruent, meaning how well it's connected to your ad, right? Like, for example, in the morning TV, TV shows in the cartoons, more likely you're going to see advertising related to toys because they know the kids are going to are the ones watching those. While at night, you might see other type of videos, right? You're watching your soap opera, your novellas, right? Or, or your... Um, uh, your show, the flash and all that, right, perhaps. And obviously the ads are going to be targeted more towards adults uh, because they understand that it's late at night or it's prime time and obviously adults are going to be there. Uh, so relevance is how congruent are you with the people that your ad is going to be, that you showing your ads to. Um, <clears throat> now the other factor is the audience you're targeting. If other advertisers, advertisers are trying to reach the same audience members, the cost, of course, will go up because their news, the news feed space is un, it's not unlimited. There's a limit within Facebook. It's already so loaded. So let's say um, you're trying to promote some uh, people within uh, Fairfield area, for example, um, the ad, the are into sports and you selling apparel, right? Sport apparel. Well, that person actually may have so many other needs that other advertisements are. That be, that person may also like baseball, may also like basketball, may also like 
um, uh, hiking. I also like a specific type of food. Uh, so many interests a person had. So you not only just competing with um, people, other companies that sell sports apparel, but you're competing with all the other companies that uh, that person has some type of interest. You just, just put yourself in their shoes, right? How many interests do you have? How many things you like to do? Uh, so those are the factors that I wanted to uh, cover that I hope you're you get you got some good information and again if you want to connect with me if you have some more questions to ask you can leave some comments below depending on when you're watching this but you can also contact me 707-410-0307 uh, you can visit my website digitaltrack.co you should be able to see the links below or uh, my email is info at digitaltrack.co by the way the number 707-410-0307 that's a cell phone so you can text me again this is leo with digital track have a good one